What's up everybody out in the gaming universe and welcome to Call of Duty Reality, the show where contestants compete over Xbox Live for real prizes. <laughs> the contestants are getting a little antsy to get started so we'll jump right into it, but thank you guys for watching and welcome to Call of Duty Reality. Alright, first thing is first, if you want to be on the next episode of Call of Duty Reality, go to realitygame.com and click on the compete button. We do require that you are a YouTube subscriber, and it doesn't have to be a novel, but just kind of fill out why you want to be on the next episode. Our first game is Sticks and Stones on Standoff. Now, for this first episode, I wanted to get my favorite game types in here. How the show works is there's three games. The second and the third one, players can get eliminated. But the first one is kind of for fun, just to kind of rank the team so that they are fair for our team match. So, uh, without further ado, guys, let's jump right into the action. I'm so excited to start this series. All right, first thing to note here, our contestants are competing for a three-month subscription to Xbox Live, so there are prizes on the line. We're going to be introducing our contestants. There are 11 of them this time, and uh, we're starting off Headless Ranger there, getting a good kill. Corrosive Bullet has been on uh, reality game shows before, and he stays alive there and gets the kill with the Tactical Knife. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the Ballistics Knife. We're jumping on with Gris Griffin's Force using those uh, explosions to his advantage. Flaky Frames, uh, trying to use a Dolphin Dive to get the skew or get the slash on his opponent's ankles. Uh, he's trying to get that uh, setback. Oh, but gets uh, knifed in the back there. Our next contestant is the government. Be careful, guys. The government is watching you. And he's going to shoot you with a crossbow and get poised. There you go. Now, um... Lol, you mad? He is our next contestant. I do want to point out that the uh, ranking and the score in the top is correct, but sometimes when people get set back, it doesn't keep track of the actual points they have. So just keep that in mind. Uh, kill, dude, kill. Uh, it's kind of like my, one of my favorite band names, Run, Kid, Run. Uh, check them out. They're kind of cool. Um, Nordwall. Uh, it's like a narwhal, but kind of with a beard and a big battle axe is how I was... Uh, uh, how, how I was informed what that was supposed to be. Racer Ryan has also been on some other reality game shows before. And uh, getting a kill there. Uh, cleaning up in a little bit of engagement. Oh, and cannot stay alive there. Uh, Brian Man 87 You know, I don't like reading out all the numbers. So we're just going to call him Brian Man. Oh, getting a setback there before he gets exploded. Our last contestant is Reaper. 41 miles per second. Uh, see what I did there? Oh, and he just gets humiliated, but didn't have many points, and this is a long game we're going to be jumping on. Now we're going to be jumping on with different contestants, see how they're doing, trying to stay with the leaders and seeing if they cannot get set back. Uh, Nordwall there, trying to flank around to find some enemies. Uh, we're going to get on, oh, Racer Ryan, no, we're getting on with Headless Ranger here. Uh, this is where the action's at. He almost gets taken down by Racer Ryan, but takes down two members. Nice combat knife there, and is he going to, yes, he gets stuck, but also sticks his opponent, keeping those points alive. Brian Ryan here is going, it seems he's going for a lot of the setbacks, and so is uh, Flaky Frames here. Not connecting quite there. <laughs> going for the Dolphin Dive. Again, does not quite get uh, a kill on that one. Oh, Killer Dude Kill gets humiliated right there. We're going to jump on him. Oh, and it, he spawns right behind enemy. Can he capitalize on this? Uh, it's going to miss his first two shots, but... Is he going to connect on the third? No, has to reload. It's going to... Oh, another spawn. This is... This seems to be the hot spot on the map. Oh, and misses just a few. Griffin Force is going to... I guess what the hot spot on the map is here. Going for the uh, bankrupt there, but it doesn't quite connect. Gets taken down. Headless Ranger seems to be cleaning up. Oh, no! Gets the combat knife right on his opponent coming in there. Uh, Brian Man is going to be... Oh, is he stalking Headless Ranger here? Nope, does not quite connect there. Uh, it's going to be... Yes, he's looking. Oh, and he sees does not quite connect there either. And we're going to jump on with Griffin Force, the one he's going head-to-head -head with. And is he... Oh, and he gets taken down by Brian Man. Uh, Flaky Frames going to try to clean up on these guys who were fighting before. Easy combat knife. Well done there, Flaky Frames. He's going to be... Nobody's in that this hot spot. It seems like a lot of people have been there, but except for right now. And it, this, with 11 people, it seems to be a lot of... Spawn, kill, or be kill. It's a very fast-paced game, and that's kind of what uh, we wanted Sticks and Stones to be. How I play this game, actually I'll put a, uh, an annotation on the screen. Uh, if you guys want to check this out later, it'll be in the description. Um, I played this back in Black Ops 1, and it was kind of a bet between some of my friends and I to see who could get the most uh, hatchet kills, and... Uh, it's a pretty fun game. I won't spoil it, but uh, anyways, that's kind of how I try to play Sticks and Stones, trying to get as many hatchet kills 
as possible so that nobody else has any points. So then I can get a few at the end and win. That's my strategy. Uh, it seems like in this one in Black Ops 2, the crossbow is a lot more viable because you do have three shots that you don't have to reload on that crossbow. So uh, we'll, we'll see if these guys put this to good use or not. We're going to stay on Flaky Frames. He is in 10th place. He has been set back, trying to get some setbacks of his own and doesn't quite do it. In first place, we have a Brian Man. In second place, we have Headless Ranger. And in third place, Kill Dude Kill. So, oh no, Nordwall took the third spot right there. Headless Ranger is trying to take Brian Man out here. Um, now it's, like I said, there's a lot of points. You know, if they get set back, it doesn't. it's not going to be a quite representative of that. Third place, Lol You Mad. He doesn't even ask you mad, bro. He just tells you that you are mad. <laughs> uh, Brian Man staying in the lead here, but Headless Horseman is get... Headless Horseman. Wow. I think I said that a few times before. But 13 seconds left. Headless Ranger cannot... Is he going to get it? Is he going to get a few points to get uh, the victory here? Uh, no, he gets taken out there right at the end. So Brian Man is going to do a, a victory shot. Congratulations, Brian Man and Headless Horse Ranger Man, dude. Thank you guys so much for watching this first part of Call of Duty Reality Episode 1. Parts 2 and 3 will be out tomorrow and the day after that. Uh, it is a weekly series, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, a few other videos you might want to check out. Man Mode Monday, this is a weekly competition where I challenge the community to see if you guys can top my score. I have crazy restrictions. Uh, we have the Sentry Gun game. I'll let you guys figure out why we call it that. 5-7 Madness, great gameplay. We are on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you online.